Hi, am I live yet? <laughs> I think I am. Good afternoon, hi and welcome. I am Darla Morris and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in beautiful Granbury, Texas. And I thank you for joining me today. We have got two really cute projects. Um, pretty simple. I let the DSP do all the work. DSP is designer series paper, you know. And um, I don't know, it's just exciting. I'm getting in the Christmas mood whether I want to or not, because this is the time that we need to start our Christmas cards. I'm sorry, but this is true. I am going to look and see if my comments are working. So far, I don't see diddly. So, I don't know. Who knows? I'll wait and see how, oh great. Have I done messed everything up? Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes I hit the wrong button. Oh, good. There's a comment. Thank you, Terry. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Minnesota. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Well, I'm glad you girls are here today. Now, my intent is, number one, to inspire you to use these beautiful projects. I mean, materials and the projects because... Um, I like to say that I am not a crafty person, but I'm a crafty wannabe person. So, Stampin' Up! is a paper, um, let's see, a paper crafting company, for lack of a better word here. But if you are into card making, scrapbooking, um, you know, 3D projects. Hi, Jackie. Thank you, Terry. Thank you so much. Um, Stampin' Up! has everything that your little heart could desire. And I would appreciate it if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator already. I would love to be your girl and I would love to earn your business. Now, I always have monthly ordering specials. Sometimes they're a surprise. I don't tell you. Sometimes I tell you. So it just depends on my mood. I need to get in a better mood sometimes. <laughs> How about y'all? I've been watching too much television. I'm not in a good mood. But as you come on today, please say hello. And like Diane, tell me where you're from, especially if this is your first time. And um, you think, well, why should I say hello? Why should I make comments? Well, when I turn the camera down, you are going to see my wheel of fortune, as I call it. And with each comment that you make, your name gets on this wheel of fortune. Now, you want your name on there twice? Yeah, betters your odds, right? Yes, it does. Share my video. So if you share it, your name gets on, gets on once and then again. So you have a double chance of winning the two projects that I made in my previous video, which, oh, last week, technology kicked my butt. And I was so mad, and I did not get to join you. So, um, you know, my weeks are just not complete without my visits with you girls and boys because my son joins us from time to time, and I always love it. And as a matter of fact, he was a winner the last time, so yay. But uh, do make comments, do share, please, please, please share. And I will say that probably tomorrow, this video will be uploaded to YouTube, and I would very much appreciate it if you would go to my YouTube channel, which is Lazy, Daisy Stampers and what do you now on YouTube you like you subscribe you do the little bell so you know when it comes on I don't know I think that's about it I'm not sure but do everything you can in YouTube because I'm just beginning in YouTube so I need all the help I can get all right, let's see, where am I? Let's look up my notes. 
share it, uh-huh, giving away the cards, yep, got that. Okay, well, celebration. You all know about celebration. Celebration is the best time of the year, almost. This is our little celebration catalog. Oops, I got it. I'm moving too fast. And everything in this little catalog is absolutely free. All you need to do is order a $50 order and you pick an item out of here and you get it free. There are beautiful stamp sets. There's beautiful designer series paper. And this is one of them, the little penguins. Oh, so cute. Um, and one of my personal favorites is on this very front page, and it's, <laughs> this is backwards uh, right here. It is called Bedazzling. And let me tell you, it is bedazzling. Oh, it is, it's really pretty, honest. But along with Celebration, we have a joining special. And you say, oh Lord, I don't wanna join Stampin' Up. What? I don't wanna sell. I don't wanna do videos. I don't wanna have parties. You don't have to. No, you don't. All you have to do is buy the starter kit, which is $99. You get to pick $125 worth of product of your choice. Duh. No shipping. You get a pass paper pumpkin. You will get catalogs to share with your other crafty or wannabe crafty friends. Um, what else do you get in there? You get some other supplies. Um, you know, it's over a $200 value in itself for only $99. But during celebration, you're gonna get to pick an extra bundle from one of these nine bundle selections and every single one of them I love and I think I have nope I don't have the gorgeous leaves which is on my list to get but I think I've got everything else but anyway it is a win-win situation you really there's no pressure you don't have to do anything else, but get a 20% discount on everything that you order until the first of the year. Yes, it's a no-brainer. It's a win-win. Hi, Stella. Um, so if you want some more information about that, just give me some, uh, uh, make a comment and I'll, and I'll get back with you. Now, paper pumpkin, oh my gosh. Our last paper pumpkin was so awesome. Well, I will say the last few paper pumpkins, they have knocked it out of the park. But this is a little teaser of our upcoming paper pumpkin. It's going to be all about haunts and harvest. And you're gonna get supplies. You're gonna get everything in these kits, okay? You don't need glue, you don't need dimensionals, you don't need embellishments. They are all inclusive for $22. That's a bargain. In this kit, you're gonna get enough supplies to create 12 treat boxes, just in time for Halloween. Uh, comes with an, always comes with an exclusive stamp set. It always comes with a stamping spot. And I'll show you when I turn the camera down um yeah it's it's a it's a real nice bargain i will say that i'm going to turn the camera down so you can see our last paper pumpkin okay i want to tell you as i'm turning the camera down that i have live in-person classes and i try to stick to the first and the third Saturday of each month. Now, you know, 
sometimes life gets in the way and I have to change them, but you know, we all have to be flexible, right? Well, let me just show you this last paper pumpkin that we got because it is adorable. Uh, it came from uh, one of our co-founders of Stampin' Up. This is her box. Hi, Kelly. I need, to, I need to scroll up. I've got comments that I've not seen. Well, Terry, you did not miss last week because I had technology issues. So, <laughs> well, don't share right now. You can share later, Kelly, because we don't want you to get busted. Okay, so here's our last paper pumpkin, and it is adorable. You get, look at this. This is a whole roll of ribbon, beautiful ribbon, soft. Here is your stamping spot that you will always get. This one happens to be Blackberry Bliss. Um, these are just the parts you can make. Here is your special one-of-a-kind stamp set. You get envelopes. I think there were um, supplies for nine cards in this kit. Here are some sequins and dimensionals. Here are your glue dots, uh, labels, decorations for your cards, more card elements, and you've got to see this. Oh my word. This is crazy beautiful. You know, and this, this punches out. I haven't made this kit yet, but I'm going to. I don't want to punch this out because I want to be very delicate with it. But you get, this goes on three of the cards. These are your card bases. You know, there's some that are pink. There's three of three designs. There's one des card base. Here's another card base. That is what I believe this is going to go on. Yes, that matches up really well. At least I think that's what it is, okay? I haven't looked at the instructions. You know, who needs instructions, right? So all kinds of good stuff to make fabulous cards. There's your other three card bases. This is to decorate this beautiful box because the box itself is absolutely gorgeous. And then of course, you get color step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these gorgeous cards. So, you know, I don't know. I think my camera's a little fuzzy. Hello, Oma, welcome. So anyway, that is a normal paper pumpkin, $22. It is a great value. If you've got, you know, um, teen or preteen kiddos, grandkids, what a wonderful thing to do with them. Oh, look, I have found some alternatives that I like, and I sometimes I will make pictures of them so that I can go back and recreate because there's all kinds of people out there that are way more crafty and creative than I am that gives you all kinds of alternatives that you can do. Okay, paper pumpkin, I'm done with that. All right, so, okay, big news, big news. I am going to change the days that I'm going to do my Facebook Live. Um, Thursdays are beginning to be very difficult for me to do my lives, so I'm going to be changing to Mondays at 10 a.m. So write that down somewhere. Monday, 10 a.m. Anyway, we're going to give it a shot. Nothing at my house is written in stone. How about you? All right. Now, here's my Wheel of Fortune, and we are about to spin to see who's going to win these pretty little cards that I made two weeks ago.
Isn't that pretty? This is from the Whimsical Trees uh, Suite. This is the uh, designer series paper. Very pretty. And then this card is just simply paper and ink. A little stamping. There you go. Very pretty. Okay, so we're going to spin to see who wins these two projects, okay? Here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. Wendy, okay. Well, hello, son. No, you didn't miss the party. The party's just about to start. Okay, Wendy, that's awesome. Wendy came to my class a couple of weeks ago, so this is awesome. Congratulations, Wendy. I know that I haven't seen you pop on today, but um, she may pop on later or not. She may watch a replay later or not. Who knows? But there we go, Wendy. Now, if you want a chance to win, make comments, but most of all, share. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, today's projects, I am using these two stamp sets. Now, in the catalog, this is a, where'd my catalog go? This is like a suite you can get if you wish. Um, this, it's on page 16 and 17 and 18 and 19, and that's it. Um, but if you choose the suite, you get everything on this page. Stamp dies stamp dies beautiful gold leaves which we're going to use some today ribbon oh my gosh this is beautiful ribbon and this dsp is very lovely very very nice uh-huh it is it's very pretty so that's what we're using today and both of my cards are coming out of both of these sets okay so let's I gotta quit saying so. I'm saying that too much. Okay, so this is how you find me. And I glued this down so I can't bring it up. But it's Lazy Daisy Stampers with an S dot stampin' up dot net. My blog, which you'll find a lot of my BOGO items on is darlamorris.blogspot.com and then this is my current host code um, and I will say when placing your orders be very aware to keep your orders in $50 increments that means if your order is $45, you find something else to kick that up to 50 bucks. Then you get a free celebration item to choose. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, so this is our, let me get it right here. This is our first card. And I've got a shadow. Hmm, I don't know if I can fix that or not. Let me see if I can. I uh, changed my camera around a little bit. I don't know if that helps or not. Anyway, okay. This is a very simple little card. This is our card base. And I'll have to put an inside on this, okay? This is simply the designer series paper. A couple of die-cut leaves. Oh, and I've brought in this beautiful bedazzling paper, free, with a fifty-dollar order. I don't. It doesn't show sparkly um, like it really is. Okay, it's gorgeous. So, well, let's just get going here now. 
in one of these sets, let me see, which one is it? I think it's this one, I think. Yes, this one here, the uh, Christmas to Remember, has these dies in here, which kind of go together. This one is kind of the, the base, and then this is kind of the detail. And I will tell you, I tried and tried to cut the bedazzling out of this. Now, people have done it because I have seen it. I just had a very difficult time. It did not do well for me. Um, so what I did is I cut up a bunch of the leaves. Um, you know, I cut a bunch of this up like I would snip off this little area, this little area, you know, just to use uh, in these decorations on this card. And it just really, you know, it sets it off really nice. So even though I was a failure at cutting out the whole thing together, at least I used the uh, parts and pieces of it. So I was still happy because I got to use that because it's beautiful paper. Okay. Ah, ay, ay, ay. All right. Here we go. Now, this measures... Oh. I thought I had these written down, but I don't. This measures three and a half by four... We'll say four and a half. Three and a half by four and a half. And of course, this is our standard card base. It is half of a sheet, half, eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And I know that paper, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down. And I like the liquid glue just because it gives me some wiggle room. Because I ain't so good sometimes. Now pay attention um, if your uh, paper has um, a direction on it, okay? Yeah, so be, be careful of that. And then this piece is going to go like that. I've cut it a little bit longer than I need, but I'm just going to try to lay out what I want on here. Oh, that's got a sticky end. I'm going to throw that away. And so does this. I don't like that. I'm going to use, let's see, real red is one of my colors. Oh, my stamps are over here. I don't think I showed you guys the paper. I know I've showed it to you before, but that's beautiful in the back. And this is the paper that we're using on this card in the back. Here's some more pretty paper and the back. I love that back. And we're using this paper. And there's the back. Is that the back? Yep. And I've used quite a bit of paper out of here, so there's something that's really pretty. And the back, oh, that's real soft and subtle. Okay, I think that might be all of it, but you can see it in the catalog, um, and it's a pretty good representation of what you get, so. Okay, I was going for my stamps. I got my Merry Christmas, and all kinds of other stuff. Can't make a card without my M&M and peanuts, so 
Mm-hmm. Get yours out when you get ready to create. It helps, I tell you. It really does. So, we're just going to say Merry Christmas. And all you do is just tap, tap, tap lightly all over. Try to center it. Of course, it's hard when you're not right over it. I hold it for a few seconds and then lift. Uh-oh. I forgot to wet my... Oh, it's good and wet. Oh, good. This is my stamp cleaner. These are chamois. It's called a Stampin' Chamois. And it cleans your stamps off. It does a very good job. Okay, so that's all the stamping I'm going to do on that. Now, I had a hard time deciding how to do this twine, but I am going to go ahead and put this down on my little strip here. And then I'm going to cut this end off to semi-match the other end. And I can't cut a straight line to save my soul. I had Topo to hard seltzer helps. <laughs> well, I'd have a margarita, but I probably couldn't get through a video if I, if I started on a margarita, Kelly. But yeah, good idea. Okay, so now I made these cards last week, and you know me. I can't even remember when I make them the day before all of the details, so bear with me. I know this string gave me a little uh, gave me a little problem, but I didn't glue these ends down. And I'm going to, no, I don't want it on the top, Darla. Uh-uh, this is wrong. See, I told you, dang it, wrong, wrong way. Let's go this way. Let's go behind it. I think in the future I might just forget the string, if you know what I mean. Because I think it's just more trouble than it's worth. And I'm kind of pulling it tight on the back side. Yeah, I might forget the string. And I think I got this inspiration from the catalog itself. I'm not sure, but I know I did my second card. I know it came from the catalog. I'm going to cut off that frayed end because it's given me issues. Then I'm going to come back up through here. On the back side, on the back, stay on the back. I was y'all, I'd forget to string. There we go. All right, now here comes a bow. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Kelly, I thought that Topo Chicho whatever was just water, but it's not. It's um, it's an alcoholic beverage. I don't know. I've never had any of it. 
I saw that you was on the square, uh, what was it, day before yesterday when they was filming the uh, prequel. Was that fun or what? If y'all don't know, Granberry had, oh, we had some big stars in town. <laughs> yeah, I bet that was fun. Um, we had Sam, Sam, Sam. What's his name? Oh, he's so good looking. Sam. Well, crud. Kelly, what's his name? Sam. Uh-huh. Uh-uh, not... Elliot. That's it, that's it. He is... Do y'all remember the Marlboro Man? He was one of the Marlboro... I can't say it right. Uh, he was one of those. And I think Tom Selleck was, too. And they're just both so luscious to look at but yeah we was we had a filming crew on our square I think it was what is today was it Tuesday Monday or Tuesday okay so oh shoot I wished I hadn't have taken the back so I see I've been flapping my lips and I need to pay attention okay so before I set this down, I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to put that there, and ooh, I'm going to use some of these pretty things right there, and pick one, and it's going to go down this way. Okay, so I'm going to turn that over, and try to keep at least this one Let's see, right there. I think this was it. I don't know. His voice, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And you know, he's kind of like Sean Connery. The older he gets, the better looking he gets. That man is so... So nice. And here comes our bling. I want it to be seen, so I'm going to put it off maybe to the side right there. And then this one. And you see, it's, it's not cut beautifully. I mean, it's got this crazy end, but it's going to be covered up, okay? So... Just the, you know, tip ends are basically going to show. I just want that bling to get out there and bling. I want my bling to bling. All right, here we go. Now then, I got that like that. Okay, this would be a real simple, quick and easy um, Christmas card. If you forgot this twine, because this is a pain in the rear, I think. Or just put a bow, just make you a bow and stick it right there. But now we'll put something on the inside, okay, for you. And, and I popped it up on dimensionals. And there we go. I don't know, can you see bling anywhere? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's our first card. It's so nice. I like this one. I like that paper, too. Okay. Uh, my husband told me that ragweed was high yesterday or something. And I gotta tell you, between my eyes watering and my nose running, Sometimes it's just all I can do. Oh, Dad Burn, y'all. I was gonna put this on the back just to show you. Sometimes I'm a nut. Okay, well, never mind. And I was gonna put this on. I, obviously, I can't talk and make a card at the same time. <laughs> oh, me. Let's see, um, I've squirreled, I'm not even thinking about cards or what. <laughs> well, Kelly, 
You need to start thinking about Christmas cards, woman. All right, I'm going to put these up. If, maybe I'll use them on the next card. Who knows? Maybe I'll use some. No, I'm not going to use any of them. Oh, well. I had my big chance, and I blew it. Oh, unbelievable, Darla. Poor little dumb thing, my Aunt May would say. She called us, um, she called a spade a spade when it came to being truthful. She'd call you out. Yes, ma'am. While we are in the switching up mode, I want to share some cards with you that um, just, just rocked my world. Now, these cards came from... Um, I saw a blog hop or something, and I think these came from Kylie Bertucci, I think, something like that. <laughs> I know, Terry, I can't talk about Sam Elliott and do anything. <laughs> but look, now I've, I've added, I added this, and I added different sentiments, and I used different um, little frames here, but Oh, Lord, have mercy, look at that. Look at that. And then I started getting creative on my own. Look at, look at what I did. And then here's some more, and you'll see, um, had a little difficulty cutting out the very intricate area right there. I had a little, eh, I just, I just went with it. <clears throat> oh, and here's just one more on the same, the same um, idea. And then this one here. Did y'all know that you could use your markers or your alcohol pen, pen markers and color this beautiful but dazzling paper? Oh. So. When you place a $50 order, you're going to get this bedazzling, well, you're going to get eight sheets of this. Is that something else or what? I'll get one that's out of the package. It's my favorite. I, I, I'm sure you can tell. It's my favorite. So, after I uh, cased Kylie's two designs, and these two were hers, I'm, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I got and started making, I thought, ooh, well, I've got this paper, I, and this would be real pretty with it. Looky there. Look what I came up with. I mean, it's the same, you know, kind of idea but different. You know, when you start making stuff over and over again, that's when you really start creating on your own. Isn't that pretty? I know the reflection is kind of bad, but you get the idea. I know, I didn't know the, you could do the markers, but you sure can. Okay, I just wanted to share those. I just really thought they were Quite lovely. Okay, our second card is this. I hope you can see that pretty good. So it's just designer series paper, two ribbon, um, some of the stamps and cutouts. Uh oh. That didn't, you better get down. Yeah. All right, let's, let's get our supplies and see exactly what we're talking about here. Okay. Now, this is soft succulent right here, and it's on a white, thick card base. Oh, okay, so that goes like that and like that, and I cut out these little labels you know, they they come in this in this set. Um, 
you get all of these, these cut them out, plus you get these gorgeous labels. These labels are worth the price of the dies, in my opinion. So I've used these two on this particular card. On that other card, I used this one, and then I used these to put the little notches in the end. You know, it, it went something like that on the end, and it cut out those little, uh, you know, these little thingamabobs. So, or you just could cut out a slit, either one. But this is what I've used for this card. And again, it's all part of that one uh, suite, or you can buy them individually and buy what you want. You don't have to have the suite. Now this was stamped and then I uh, die cut it out. Um, and quite honestly, it just gets lost in this paper, but I used it anyway, because you know I'd already cut it and punched, uh, die cut it. So I thought, well, I, I'll just use it, whatever. So I wanted to show you a, a something that kind of rocked my world. I'd never, would have figured this out. Let me get a scrap of paper. You may already know this. Oh shoot, I dropped it. Um, you just might already know it, but here's my soft succulent, and I'm going to stamp the leaves. These are just the holly leaves. And you just tap, tap, tap. Straight down. Hold for a few seconds and straight up. Beautiful. Now, here's what rocked my world. Take my evening evergreen. This. This stamp. Which is this one right here. So there's the holly leaves. And this one. Check this out. It lines up straight down hold straight up look at that so did y'all know that I mean seriously did y'all know that am I the only one that discovered that and you know how I figured it out? I think it was in the catalog. Let me see. <clears throat> yes, it's right there. I don't know, can you, can you see it good enough? I had no idea. I thought it, the holly leaf you just stamped and that was it. But no, you come back and you put that other little, I, I thought those were like, you know, pine cones. Um, not. Pine needles, that's it, pine needles. Anyway, I just thought I'd pass that on in case you needed it like I did. <laughs> okay, so this is my standard card base. No, this is a four by five and a quarter. This is three and three quarters by three and one quarter and of course that is the same width which is three and three quarters by oh this is by one and seven eighths Ooh, an eighths measurement no less so we can go ahead and attach those two down okay This soft succulent piece under me right here is what I call my first layer, and I would call this my second layer, except my second layer just happens to be in two pieces, where it's normally, you know, one piece. And again, if your paper has a direction, you want to be sure that, you know, you put it in the right direction.
Now, if this has to overlap a little bit, do it. Just keep the bottom um, margin. Try to keep it the same because we're gonna put some ribbon around it. Let me put my card right there so I can see it. Okay, I am going to go ahead I'm just putting some um, some stick them on the back. Oh, this is not gonna tie. Oh shoot. Okay, we'll do it this way. This way will work just as well. So line it up. I don't think I made it <clears throat> quite long enough. So where's my ribbon? So all I need to do is cut a small little piece. Whew, is it hot enough for you girls out there and boys? Jason, are you still getting lots of rain in Nashville, hun? Or has it passed you by? Now I'm going to tie this over to the left hand side. You can tie it to the right hand side. What, you know, pick a side, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to trim it pretty close. There we go. Then my sentiment is going to go like that but I'm gonna stamp on it first, okay? Let me make sure I get the right side, there we go. Um, so, I'm using that same stamp that says Merry Christmas, make sure I got that wiped off, good. And I'm just going to ink up Merry this is pretty this is real easy to do on this particular stamp not all the stamps are this easy um, I did get just a hair right there and I don't want that so then I'm going to about you know just about in the center was good and then I got my little um, berries I need a piece of paper stamping off some, some I'm not stamping off. I don't think it matters. Uh, it's, it's a little busy, quite frankly, but I'm an extremist. Okay, so I'm going to put my two of my leaves down here. And I'm gonna put them towards the bottom. Uh-oh, shoot, wrong way, wrong way. That was close. Um, just a second. I'm gonna get my silicone mat because I've got glue. Um, on this already. There we go. And pay attention. <laughs> Don't be like me. 
pay attention to that little black, uh, darker mark. Oh, Roger and Karen Merrill. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. I'm on do not disturb, but obviously it doesn't work. And then I'm going to put my little holly berries on here. I guess my landline's going to ring next. Oh, I needed to cut one off. I'm going to cut this one off. Just so I can have a little grouping of three. And I don't know that it matters which way you put them. Okay, there's that. Now, I'm going to put some dimensionals on it. Still thinking about Sam Elliott, I guess. running I don't know that <clears throat> all this um, all these dimensionals are quite necessary but hey all right so I'm just going to yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take these off double whammy? That is a double one. No wonder I was having problems with that. That's crazy. I don't need a double. Okay. Jeez. It's a simple card, Darla. Don't make it so difficult, honey. So I'm trying to get my ribbon right through that blank area, okay? So hopefully it'll be close. See that kind of blends in with that background. So I'm not so sure that I might not just not put the dots on there. And then these I just stuck around. I don't want them hanging off the end of the card, so if I can't tuck it in enough, I'm not going to use it at all. And then these leaves will go on the top. Okay, get the... Okay, got it. We're almost done. Hang in there. Now, where's my gold leaves? There they are. Um, you know, this liquid glue really does not work well with these leaves, so I'm gonna give it a shot with this Seal Plus and see if I have better luck, okay? There we go. Oh, I think I will. I think I will. I think I will. Okay. Now, to attach this to the front of our card, and this really would be a very um, simple and a pretty fast card to make for your Christmas cards. So if you miss the dimensions, you can go back and watch the replay. 
don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to go to YouTube. Oh, I don't know, so much to remember, isn't there? There is our two projects today. I hope you enjoyed them. Well, hello, Louise, I just saw you. Welcome, welcome back. Okay, where am I? I wanna see you, okay, there. <laughs> okay, so I hope that um, you'll try these cards. I think they're really cute. Um, it'll get your juices flowing, so anyway. Thank you, Oma. Thank you all for joining me. Now, don't forget, I'll be on Monday morning, 10 a.m., okay? That's Labor Day, but hey, I'm not going anywhere. So I hope you have a great rest of your week. I hope you have a great weekend. Happy, it is Labor Day, isn't it? I think it's Labor Day. Oh Lord, it's not Memorial Day. <laughs> Sometimes I worry about me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, God bless you each and every one. God bless America, and I hope I see you Monday, okay? All right, get out there and make something beautiful, all right? Okay. <laughs>